it's Tessa from HandleTheHeat.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful homemade crescent rolls. These rolls are amazing and so much better than the ones you get from the refrigerator section at the store. No weird ingredients, artificial preservatives, or anything like that. They're just simply delicious and surprisingly easy to make at home. So be sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to be sharing all my favorite bread baking secrets with you so you can have a beautiful bakery quality bread right in your own kitchen. So to get started, in my saucepan, I'm combining a quarter cup of water, three quarters a cup of whole milk, and four tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna set this over medium heat on my stove until the butter is melted. And remember, you can always get the full principal recipe with all of the ingredients listed on my blog, which I'll link to below. So my butter is melted, but this mixture is way too hot. If I add yeast to this mixture, it'll kill the yeast. So I just let it cool down to about 110 degrees Fahrenheit before I proceed with the rest of the dough. So in my stand mixer, and you can also do this by hand, I'm adding in that butter mixture, and I'm also adding in a quarter cup of granulated sugar and two and a quarter teaspoons or one packet of instant yeast, one large egg, and one teaspoon of fine salt. And the reason I use instant yeast in most of my bread baking recipes is because instant yeast requires no proofing, so you don't have to add it into the wet ingredients for five minutes before adding it into your dough mixture, which makes it super easy. I've also added in four cups of all-purpose flour. And by the way, you can always use active dry yeast in place of instant yeast in any recipe. You'll just need to add it to the warm liquid ingredients for five minutes before proceeding with the rest of the recipe. So I've just kneaded this in my stand mixer for about five minutes or until the dough is nice and smooth and elastic. And as you can see here, it's just slightly tacky and it's not sticking to my fingers, which is exactly what we want. So now it's time for the dough to rise. I'm shaping it into a ball and putting it into a bowl, covering it with plastic wrap and letting it rise until doubled in size in a warm spot in the kitchen. It'll take about an hour. So my dough is risen, I'm just going to press it down slightly and turn it out onto my work surface. And I love this dough so much because it's so easy to work with that it won't actually stick to anything. That's how easy it is. So there's no need for flour on your surface. I've just cut the dough into half because this is going to make it much easier for me to roll it out. I need to roll it out into a big circle, about 16 to 17 inches. The best trick for making ultra flaky, soft, tender, buttery, flavorful crescent rolls is to spread some room temperature butter all over the round before we actually roll up our crescents. And you can also add in some cheese here or any other type of flavoring, some herbs if you wanted to, but I'm gonna move on to the next step. I'm taking a pastry wheel and I'm actually going to roll the wheel across to make eight triangle shapes. And this whole recipe will make 16 whole rolls because remember we have two circles that we're rolling out. So with each triangle shape, I'm simply rolling it up and then creating that kind of half moon crescent and that's it, it's that easy. So I have made all of my crescent shapes and they're lying on a parchment lined baking dish. I am just going to cover them and let them rise for about 20 minutes or until they're just puffy. And my last extra special tip is to brush the the rolls with egg white instead of butter or an egg yolk. And this is going to give us a nice, shiny, golden brown exterior without weighing the rolls down too much. So now they're gonna go into a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes and until they're golden brown and nice and tender and flaky and delicious. All right, so my homemade crescent rolls are all done. They are absolutely delicious. They just kind of pull apart. They're crisp on the outside, but soft and tender on the inside and are perfect for any special dinner or any night of the week that you're craving crescent rolls. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time with another food video.